Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this pullover or this cardigan but made with the hook. In previous videos I have taught you how you can make a circular uh, cardigan but using the needles. Well, you asked me to make one with the hook. So look, today I'm going to show you how you can make it. I decorate it with braids and I love how it looks. It is so easy, it's a rectangle. And I made also these sleeves with single crochet in elastic. So you will see it's very easy. You will follow the steps. I will give you all my secrets and tips. And remember that before we start, it's important that you subscribe, that you leave me a comment and that you like this video if you like it, okay? Although I will give you the material list and let's not lose more time. Well, for this large cardigan, we are going to use 50 grams of this medium uh, yarn. We will use a hook of number three and a half. Each skein of yarn has 250 grams. So we are going to use two skeins of yarn, okay? Um, so let's start. I will use this color. With one thread and with our hook, we are going to start making chains. We are going to make a long strip of chains that goes all around the neck and uh, under the chest, okay? I will make 130 chains. Approximately, this strip measured one meter. Well, at the end, we will make one chain more and then we will come back making half double crochet this means that we are going to turn over and we are going to make a single crochet this is the half double crochet so like this we are going to continue the whole row well at the end of this row we will go up with three chains and we are going to start making double crochet but we are going to make this double crochet in relief like if we are making an elastic so once we are going to take this the hook placing placing it in front and once we are going to place it in the back like this is how we are going to alternate while we make double crochet and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row well at the end of the row it's very important that we make the last double crochet of the edge well then at the end turn around we will go up with one two chains and we will start making three half double crochet in each space one here the second one next to it and then the third one here well at the end we are going to turn over and look we are going to come back to the first stitch that we made you see so we are going to come back to this space we are going to insert our hook turn over then Pull, turn over again, insert your hook, and like this we are going to repeat this step four times, always turning over. You see, we are going to keep all these loops in hold, then bring them all of them together and close with one chain. As you could see, we already have taken this stitch, so be careful. We are going to continue with the next stitches, and again we are going to make three half double crochet. Then we are going to turn over and then we are going to come back to here where we finish. And again we will turn over and insert our hook in this space four times. So here we have two. We are going to keep all of them in the hook and please loose a little bit. At the end I bring them all of them together and make one chain. And like this is how we are going to start to draw the braids. So we are going to repeat this all the whole row. We are going to make three half double crochet and then we are going to come back where we started or where we finish here to this hole and we are going to insert our hook and we are going to keep all the loops in the hook. We will leave them in hold and then we are going to bring them through after we repeat this four times. So well like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Well at the end of the row it's important that we finish making the last half 
double crochet. At the end, turn around and again we will go up with two chains, we will turn over and right away we are going to make three half double crochet and after this we are going to repeat. After this three half double crochet we are going to come back where we uh, finish, where, where we started to this space. We will count three and at the end of these three here in this space we are going to insert the hook we are going to turn over before, remember, and we are going to repeat this step four times. We are going to keep all the loops there, we will bring them through and make one chain. Then after, be careful because we may confuse where to insert the hook, we are going to count and here we are going to make the next three half double crochet and then we are going to come back and we are going to insert our hook where we finish, where we started right here and we are going to make the second petal of the braid or of the leaves. So count three and here we are going to insert our hook one, two, three and four. Then bring them all of them together and close with one chain. This step is important that you make it a little bit loose. Please relax and don't crochet this leaves tight. So well, I'm going to make a review with you. I'm going to make uh, this step. Again, I'm going to repeat so you can see exactly how it is. It is important where we insert a hook and to make the second part of the leaves or the braid. How can we call it? So well, so far it has to look like this. And like this, we are going to continue the whole row. Well, at the end of the row, it's important that you finish with your half double crochet. Then turn around and go up with three chains. And now we are going to make one double crochet in each stitch. So we are going to respect the stitches that we have so here we are going to make in each stitch one double crochet. So like we are, are going to respect the stitches like we make three half double crochet. So here we must have three double crochet. So like this we are going to continue the whole row making double crochet in each stitch. And at the end of the row we must have the same number of stitches that we made at the beginning. Remember that I made 130 stitches. So we must have 130 here again. At the end of this row of double crochet we are going to make the row where we made the elastic. Remember that we make double crochet but in relief and we are going to alternate once we are going to place the hook in the back and once we are going to place the hook in front. So like this is how we are going to alternate making the double crochet in elastic but remember at the end of this row so see you at the end of these two rows well and like this is how we are going to finish the row it is important okay here we are making the last double crochets at the end we are going to turn around and we will go up with three chains and we are going to alternate you see once we are going to place a hook in front and once we are going to place a hook in the back and like this we are going to continue with this stitch alternating also how and where we place the hook making six rows okay we are going to make six rows like this one in relief and we are going to alternate and in the next row the stitch that we took in front we are going to take it from the back and then after these six rows, we are going to repeat the braid. Well, here I repeat the six rows that I told you. I alternate the stitches, how I, I took the stitches in relief. Remember, I alternate once I place the hook in the back, then, then in front, and also each row I alternate, I made the upside. And then I repeat after these six rows the braid and I repeat exactly the same how I did you. And at the end I repeat the same at the end of the braid. I made a double crochet where I made 
three double crochet in each and leave off the braid. Well, now after this row, we are going to open the stitch a little bit because I don't want to be it so heavy. And also, if we continue with this stitch, it will, we will use a lot of material. So we are going to use a stitch that it's a little bit opened and it, it's called the crossed stitch. So look. Okay, well, so we will go up with four chains. One, two, three, four. Then turn over twice. We will skip one, two, yes, one, two, and in the third, we will insert our hook and we will make an extended double crochet. Take two, take the next two, and the last two. Then one chain. Again, turn over twice and we will come back to the second stitch right here in the middle. And again, we are going to make an extended double crochet like this. And as you could see here, we are making crosses, you see? Well, after this first cross, we are going to turn over twice. We will skip two and in the third, we will take two, the next two, and the last two. Then one chain, turn over twice, and come back to the middle. Here, skipping one. And we will make the extended double crochet. And like this, here we have the second uh, cross, sorry. Well, and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. I'm going to make one more with you so we can review. And also, I will give you homework, okay? So you can continue and you get, a get, get ahead. For example, here, let's say that we finished the row, okay? So here we make the last double crochet. Well, let's make one cross more. And remember, we are going to continue the whole row. But I want to show you how you are going to finish the row. Here we are going to make the last extended double crochet. Then turn around. And we are going to repeat the same. We are going to repeat this stitch. And we are going to make cross over cross. So we will go up with four chains, turn over twice, and now we are going to make extended double crochet, over extended double crochet to repeat the cross. So we are going to make cross over cross. And like this is how we are going to make these next two coming rows. Well, and like this we are going to continue. Remember, we are going to finish the row that we are making. So we will make one, then we are going to make a second row like this one, and then we will have a third row. So we are going to make cross over cross, and see you at the end of these three rows of crosses. Sorry again, before I let you go, remember we are going to make three rows of crosses, then we are going to repeat this row, double crochet, and then we will make the braids again. But well, remember that when we make this row, it is important to make three double crochets in each uh, segment. And when we make this row, here is where we are going to come back and count if we have the same number. We will have the same number that we made at the beginning. We must have 130. But we'll see you at the end of these three rows of crosses, the double crochet row and the braid row. But here I wanted to stop. So well, here we are at the end of the three rows of crosses. So we are about to make the double crochet row. Remember that I gave you the instructions. So we will go up with three chains. And then remember that we are going to make three double crochets in each, in each segment. So we are going to make one over the last double crochet, one inside and one in the other double crochet. So here we have three. Then again, we are going to repeat one double crochet here, one double crochet inside, and one double crochet here again. And like this, if we count them, at the end we must have 130. So well, let's continue like this. See you at the end of this row to teach you how we are going to continue 
to make the next two common rows to make the braid. So see you there. Well, let's make a summary here. Here we finished to make the double crochet row. Now we are going to make the braid row. And remember that we make this braid making two rows. So we will go up with the rows and we are going to make three half double crochet two and three after these three half double crochet we will turn over and we will insert our hook here where we started right here to this space you see one two three and right here and we are going to turn over and insert our hook here four times and this will be the first part, the first uh, leaf of the braid. Then at the end bring them through one chain and then again three half double crochet. Well and again we are going to repeat the leaf of the braid. Remember we are going to continue where we started right here. And like this is how we are going to make the leaf of the braid. And remember that we are going to repeat the same in the coming row to make the second part of the braid. Well, at the end of the braid we are going to make the row of double crochet. And we are going to repeat the row that we made of double crochet in relief. Well, let's go in order. So we are going to finish the double crochet row and we are going to repeat these six rows of double crochet in relief. And then we are going to make the double crochet then the braid. And again, we are going to re repeat the cross stitch and we are going to repeat these rows. So we are going to alternate until we get the long that we want. Okay, so we are going to repeat this series let me make more so I can tell you how many. Well, look, I get ahead, as you could see. I alternate the stitches, the cross stitch, then the braid, then the um, leaf row. And like this is how I alternate. If we count this series, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I finished making the a braid and a double crochet row. If you want, you can make more rows, okay? So I already measured and of height we have 90 centimeters and of width uh, 1 meter. Well, once you have the rows that you want and you are okay with the height, well, we are going to fold it in half and we are going to sew it until here okay we will leave this space free so we can make the slips so we will so from here to here we will leave this space open and we are going to make the same in the other side and then I will show you how we are going to make the slips okay until here we will sew so see you at the end well as I as I told you, we are going to sew, so we are going to uh, finish to make the rows that we want. We are going to fold it exactly in half, and with this uh, yarn, with one thread, and with our braiding needle, we are going to sew. So we will use the same thread and everything. And we will start right here. If you want, you can put some markers. And we are going to sew, well, remember that what we make in this side, we are going to repeat it in the other side too. And we are going to make the invisible stitch. So we are going to take one stitch from here and one stitch from the other side. Like this, okay? And then we will leave this space open. If you want, you can put a marker, right? And we are going to leave the same space in the other side too. But well, let's continue sewing. Well, this is optional. If you don't want, you can leave this uh, pullover without uh, sleeves. 
but well, in this case I want to put them and uh, we are going to make a long thread I'm sorry we are going to make a long strip of chains we are going to make 35 chains okay to make the sleeves like this At the end, when we when we finish to make the 35 chains, we are going to come back to make single crochet in all the stitches. And at the end, we must have 35 single crochets, okay? The same number that we made as a base as a base chains. Sorry, okay. Well, and like this, we are going to continue, okay? At the end, we will turn around. And we are going to make right away the rib stitch. As you could see here, I'm only taking the back part of the chain, and again, I'm going to make single crochet. You see, we are making the rib stitch. At the end of this row, we are going to turn around and we are going to repeat the same. We are going to make the rib stitch, and it's important that we count that we always have 35 chains. So I'm going to make more rows until I get um, all around of this leaf that I want. Well look, I made 36 rows, okay? And I already try on and it's perfect for the sleeve that I want. Well, now that you have all the rows that you need, we are going to join. I'm going to make single crochet taking both stitches like this and also using the same yarn and like this is how I'm going to sew. You will see that with this stitch we are going to blend the, blend the pleat. So one stitch from here and one stitch from the other side and single crochet. Well like this we are going to repeat and we are going to make a second sleeve exactly the same and with the same number of rows and with the same number of stitches and everything and well see you at the end well now that we finished to make the sleeve we are going to put the sleeve in the place where we leave it free remember here so we are going to put some markers and we are going to sew it so easy right so here at the end we will cut and we will use the same thread and we are going to sew, let's put some markers so we can sew perfectly and this won't move. If you don't have markers, well remember that you can use uh, threads to make a knot and that's it. Okay, so we will sew and remember that what we are making in this side we are going to repeat it in the other side too and we are going to repeat the same we are going to make the invisible uh, stitch where we take one thread from here and one stitch from the other side and like this all around so well at the end when you f when you finish to sew both uh, sleeves we are going to uh, hide all the threads that we may have there and it's important to know that we won't iron this uh, piece, okay? We will leave it like this. And when we finish, it will be ready to wear. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed making this piece with me. I love it, as you could see, it's so easy. And I think that's a perfect piece that, any, uh, that everybody could wear in a large, small, medium size. It's unisex. And I hope that you make it. I hope that you make it also for your kids too. And if you crochet to sale, well, this piece is amazing. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye.